in today's video, I'm showing you how you easily can color grade S-Log3 footage in CapCut in the easiest way I know of. This is by far the easiest tutorial I have on this channel in terms of color grading. And it took me three single clicks with the mouse to get what you saw in the intro. So it's by far the easiest breakdown. And also, CapCut might be the best editing software if you wanna get from A to B really quick, if you are a new beginner, intermediate, and even if you just wanna you know, have a faster, smoother workflow, I think that CapCut is it. It's user-friendly, it's super easy, and it has so much AI technology, which also is super easy to use. So yeah, CapCut is amazing. And um, in this video, I'll show you how you can color grade S-Log3 in three clicks. All right, so these are the clips I'm working with today, and these are both shot on my Sony a7 IV in S-Log3 Picture Profile 8 at default settings. So the first thing I did here was to go into the adjustments, and then I added a LUT. In this case, I added Sony's own conversion LUT that you can download on their website. I will leave a link to it in the description below. If I drag this on top of my footage, I'll basically uh, convert this S-Log3 footage to Rec. 709. Boom, there you go. So this is only with one conversion LUT applied. So as you can see, uh, my, my exposure and white balance was spot on, so everything looks very good. I don't have to correct anything. I can basically leave it as is, or I can throw a grade on top of this to make it look more filmic and cinematic, if you will. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Um, let me see, let me drag this a little bit back here. Okay, so. Uh, next thing I did here was to go into filters and you can go in here and I wrote dreamy because that's the filter that I chose for this and then I dragged this on top boom and that is way too much of course uh, but we have to drag back the intensity over here on the right side I think like 41 is enough that's maybe a little bit too much uh, like so yeah, that's looking amazing. I love this. I added one conversion LUT and I added the filter and I dragged back a little bit of intensity. I don't know of a other way to make this faster and easier. Of course, there's many things you could do to make this look even better. One of which is going in here to the adjustments and basically dragging this tint slider a little bit to the red or magenta side. Uh, like so. Let's drag this a little bit further to the magenta side and boom, there you go. I think this looks amazing, honestly. I love this look. All right, so in this clip, I did the exact same thing. So I added the conversion LUT, boom. The only thing I did was to apply this conversion LUT and then boom, the same filter or LUT. But as you can see, uh, I haven't done anything here uh, other than dragging back the intensity. So in this case, I did this in two clicks. So boom, adding the conversion LUT, boom, adding the other LUT, and then dragging back the intensity. Let me just show you the before and after. Before, after, before, and after. Before, after, before, and after. 